So hi everyone, Erin here. Um, I'm going to start working on a fun little project using um, products that we got with a beacon pop-up that's coming up from July 18th, 19th, and 20th. One of the products that we got is this floor craft, and this is a styro cutter. And I already cut one out, and I do need to do a little bit of trimming to make sure it's more of a perfect square. But I'm going to work on this and kind of make this this mixed media plaque and use these as the base of kind of like some fun designs and things. I really don't know 100% where it's going yet, but it's gonna go somewhere. First thing is, is you gotta turn this on. This gets super hot. This is a heat wand. Um, if it does get dirty, you just kind of wipe it off. And I have a video kind of showing you some ins and outs about how to use this and some kind of some tips and tricks about how to use the wand. So my first step while this is warming up is I wanna cut a bunch of squares. So I just found a square. This one happened to be a stamp and I just like the size of it. And because I've already cut a straight line on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up because I know that it's a straight line. It's one less cut that I have to make. And then I'm just going to trace the edge of my block and follow my line. And then because I'm gonna be doing a straight line there, again, I can do the same thing on this one. And this side here is not a super straight line, so I really don't wanna cut into that. And the other beautiful thing about this is that if I don't like the side of one square, guess what? You can use the other side, it doesn't matter. We are gonna get some of these little kind of wispy things, but we're gonna end up cleaning some of that up and we're gonna put some other stuff on top to kind of make it all work and make it more of a solid block rather than look like it's styrofoam. So this takes about a minute to warm up. First stage is just start kind of cutting and I'm gonna cut this kind of as a unit. Go ahead and place your heat wand in. You can hear it kind of sizzling, just like that and then start cutting. You don't want to cut too fast, otherwise it's going to start warping the wand and you could cause problems. And you just kind of go along. So I'm going to speed this up so it doesn't take so long. So I have all these little pieces here and um, I have these three squares. So my idea is I'm going to take my three squares, I'm going to mount it on a block, but I'm going to have fun and make these all kind of fun and mixed media. So I want to really play with kind of the textures on top. So I'm going to add some of these pieces and break them up and glue them on top. And all I'm going to use is my beacon three in one to glue these pieces, but I also want to add some depth of texture. So for some of these, I'm going to start kind of cutting some lines in and then kind of cut across. And I'm just playing at this point and I'm gonna lift up. And so now I've created a little bit of a depth in here. I'm just gonna kind of smooth these down with the wand and kind of glue them back down. Careful when you take these little pieces off like this because they will, the wand will burn you. This thing gets up to like 450 degrees. Take your cardboard and just kind of wipe your wand off again. And I'm just going to have fun. This one, I think I'm going to do a bunch of diagonal cuts like I just showed you. I think I might go a little bit deeper on this one. And then I could probably go in and add some other layers. So I think this one's good. Now, because I did kind of zigzag lines here, I'm going to see if I can go in and kind of create some swirling effects on this one. Alright, so it's just kind of some fun swirly textures on that one. And I think I'm going to go back to more of a linear, so I'll go linear, and this one's all kind of fun swirls, and this one I'm going to go back to more of a linear, but not exactly the same as that. So this one I think I'm going to try and do more like squares.
All right, so I'm gonna kind of let this sit off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I think I'm done. So now I've got some square shapes. I've got some just kind of lines. And this one, I've just got some swirly effects going on here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all some of these fun little extra pieces that I have here and start kind of having fun. This is gonna be a three dimensional piece. So if pieces kind of, I'm just gonna tear them off. I need it, whoops, you know what? I'm gonna keep this on. So what if I wanna get a perfect square here? Wow, that cooled down fast, like it's not even doing this. This cooled down super, super fast. I was always curious about that. So let's start with the swirly one. So I cut all these little swirls. What if I add some swirls back on top? So I'm just gonna use my beacon three in one. And just apply a little bit of glue. And go back and kind of pop little pieces on top. We are gonna go through and kind of finish this off with some like this coat stuff. Not too happy with the way this section looks right here. It was kind of my first, I was trying to do like a, almost like a swirly design, but it's just, it's not working. It's a little too difficult. So that's why I changed gears and kind of started making almost like whirlpool effects. Squirrel, I wanna keep some of these depths in here. And I wanna kind of stay within my square space because these are gonna get lined up together. So I don't want to go too far in kind of my spacing here. So let's have another little fun one here in this corner because it's kind of flat looking. There we go. So as you can see, I've got some really good dimension here. We are going to add this kind of uh, coat over top of this whole thing. All right, so let's see if this is warm enough to cut a square. There it is. So it just takes about a minute. Good to know it cools off super fast so and do be careful not to leave this little guy on that's not a fun thing so i'm mostly pulling out the pieces that i kind of cut out of these little sections and then cutting them and trimming them back into kind of square or rectangle shapes and then layering them back in just create even more dimensions not only did i dig down but i also can go height wise so I'm gonna add this guy on top of here. Cool design on that. All right, so they're all just a little different. That's kind of what I'm going for. All right, so over here, good get some good linear so these are the ones that I kind of cut out they're long and strand like so I'm gonna kind of just go over and create some other long linear shapes just like this Turning my wand off, here are my three kind of funky, fun designs. Kind of linear, but different each way. And this one's kind of a swirly effect. I may go back and do another linear. We'll have to see how that turns out. All right, so I was given the stuff by Floorcloth. This is called Smooth Finish. Fast drying, don't crink, shrink or crack. No sanding required. And I think it's gonna help kind of clean up some of my little cobwebs here. So um, you wanna put on a spatula or knife. Basically, it kind of helps protect the whole thing, and then we can start painting it and kind of making this all my fun mixed media. So I do have a little palette knife. I'm just closing out my glue. I have this little plastic one that I really don't care about, and hopefully I can get in all the nooks and cracks. If I don't get into every little nook and crack, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, so this stuff, oh, it's very lightweight. It almost reminds me of like a modeling paste. I don't know if it could be used as such. So I think it's just supposed to kind of cover up and get rid of some of the, the cell texture and give a nice smooth finish. So I'm going to not worry about doing the bottom. Um, start with one of the linear ones. And it's okay if I have some texture more on this. It'll just kind of add to my final effect. Probably should have done the inside before I layered, but that's okay. We'll do my best. So I'm just gonna kind of speed this up while I go ahead and start continue applying all my fun Floor craft smoothing it's called smooth finish on here to make it all nice and finished all 
All right, so here's the first one. It reminded me a lot of frosting a cake. It's a very, very creamy textured um, paste and it goes on super easy. It does kind of pick up some of the bottom pieces like the little wispies. And so it's not gonna give you a completely um, solid, clean texture, at least the way that I cut it. Maybe if you did it a little differently than me and not just kind of, you know, played and layered and all that kind of stuff, um, you would get one. So, but I like the texture. I like that it's kind of funky and different and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just making sure all my little wispies are kind of tacked down. And it's not dry yet, but I'm sure it'll get there. I'm going to keep working on my next ones and get them all coated up with the smooth finish. It didn't take that much of the smooth finish to actually coat all these. The hard part was just getting in all the little nooks and crannies underneath and everything. So I did go in and use my fingers for some just because it was easier and really kind of getting in and making sure it was nice and smooth and getting all the extra stuff out. So thanks for stopping by. Come back again and see part two on how we finish creating our fun little mixed media thing with our styrofoam and our paints. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.